As believers, we pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit and to be a powerful witness for the gospel. But what does that look like? We have a great example in Paul and Barnabas as we see them commissioned in Acts 13 to go out on their first missionary journey. We see how, through the grace of God, Paul and Barnabas were filled with the Holy Spirit and became bold preachers of the word in the early church, sharing the gospel everywhere they went. Their habit, whenever they came to a new place, was to first preach in the synagogue and share the gospel with Israelites. However, as we see in Paul's first recorded sermon in Acts 13, the goal consistently remains to share the gospel with anyone who would listen. As a result, we see a pattern that is to be repeated throughout the New Testament. Paul preaches first to the Israelites, but then they reject the gospel. And then he moves on to share the good news of salvation with the Gentiles. And that's the context where we begin to read our scripture today at verse 42 of Acts 13. As Paul and Barnabas were leaving the synagogue, the people invited them to speak further about these things the next Sabbath. And when the congregation was dismissed, many of the Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who talked with them and urged them to continue in the grace of God. On the next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. And when the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy. They began to contradict what Paul was saying and heaped abuses on him. Then Paul and Barnabas answered them boldly, We had to speak the word of God to you first. Since you reject it and do not consider yourselves worthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For this is what the Lord has commanded us. I have made you a light for the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and honored the word of the Lord, and all who were appointed for eternal life believed. The word of the Lord spread throughout the whole region. So this scripture offers us a model of what it looks like to be a powerful witness for the gospel. First, we must encourage our fellow believers to be strong witnesses, to continue in the grace of God. Indeed, we are well served to remember that our witness is so much more than just our words, but includes our actions and service to others in our community. And second, we must be bold in our defense of the gospel. We see in this passage how their command of Scripture allowed them to answer, not with their own words, but with the words of Scripture. And finally, we see that through the grace of God and Paul's willingness to share the gospel with the unchurched, the word of the Lord spread through the whole region. What a great witness we can be when we seek to share the gospel through our actions as well as our words. And that, my friends, is what it looks like when we seek to advance the gospel by the grace of God.